is Hulkai. This is my new fun deck. It's uh, sort of a chaos deck a little bit, but with a new level 1 draw engine, so I call it Chaos 1 Turbo. And this is it. Okay. 3 Kunkaboyo. Main card, basically. Just brings back my level 1s, like Mystic Piper, to draw an extra card, or a level 1 tuner to tune. Synchro. You get it. 2 Mystic Pipers. Tribute this guy, draw a card. If I reveal a level 1 with the drawn card, I get an extra. And this deck plays a lot of level 1s, so this card is really good. And I can bring it back with uh, Bio every turn if I want. 2 Chaos Sorcerer. This deck plays a lot of lights and darks, so this guy is easy to play. And I can just recycle them later on. You'll see why. To effect Veiler, cause it's really good. It's main in almost every deck anyways. It's a level 1. It's a tuner. There's no reason not to run this in this deck. And it's light for Chaos Sorcerer. 3 Cyber Valley. Level 1. Light. Really good card overall. Um, stops the battle phase. Plus you get a card. You can remove this and some other bad monster on your field like a battle fade or something and draw two cards. Or use the other effect if you want. I doubt that's gonna happen, but whatever. Three Battle Fader. Level one, dark. You know what it does. Stops the battle phase, stays on the field, it's really good. Use it with Cyber Valley or two next turn for like a formula or whatever. Two Cyber Dragon, light monster, really easy to summon, beat stick. Um Yep. Synchro, whatever. You get it. To TG Werewolf. Use these guys for extra synchro summoning. He's really easy to play since you're special summoning a lot. And they're all low level, so bring this guy out. Sync. Easy. Unknown Synchron. Just play one of these because you can only use it once per round. Or once. Yeah. Once per duel. Whatever. Um. You summon him like Cyber Dragon, and he is a level 1 tuner. So, yeah, level 1 for Konka, Boyo, level 1 for Mystic Piper, and he's a dark monster. So he's really good. Love Bulb, level 1, easy to sink. That's pretty much it. And I can use its effect to get a different one. And Trigodia. And he's really good in this deck too. If you have like a bad hand, which you might get sometimes with all the level ones and stuff like that, you can use the effect to steal, use the effect to change his level and go for easy sinks, stuff like that. He's really good in this deck. Three Upstar Goblin, just thin the deck down to 37 really. But. Yeah, these days we don't care about life points anyways, so whatever. I draw three cards. I like it in this deck. Three Pot of Everest. This I recycle the guys. Um, there is a lot of removing, but these really help a lot. You can get back your Synchros and your Chaos Sorcerers or whatever. Get cards, you know what it does. Keeps me from decking out because without these... Sometimes you'll probably deck out. Not gonna lie. Uh, one for one. You know it does. A ditch a monster, get a level one. Really good with Glow Pulp and Mystic Piper. Especially first turn. Flush Burial. Use that on Glow Pulp or Mystic Piper. Same thing with one for one. Who cares? Uh, mind Control. Steal a monster. Synchro. Or use it with... Cyber Valley and get two cards, so really good in this deck. Tech Instant Fusion. Um, I had to get out a Fusion dude really easy and Synchro with it. That's pretty much it. Use it mostly to get level 4 and Sync for Hyper Liberian. A Book of Moon, you know what it is, it's a staple. Staples, Giant Grenade, Dark Hole, Monster Boy. Yep. Traps, 
of Mirror Force because it's really good and I'm not going to explain it because it's really good and you know what it is. And three roll decrees. And this is another reason why I don't run Gores either because it stays on the field. And this card wrecks a lot of decks. That's trap heavy. Okay. And extra deck and side deck are generic. Main purpose or the big play is to use these three. Get out. These two and wreck the game. Really good. Okay. That's it. See ya.